Here's one koala draw you can try. I start with a simple circle for the head, using a grey grip colour pencil. Then I add the rounded body that is about the same size as the head. Next I add the two ears. They are circular shapes stuck onto each side of the head. The legs are short and chubby, with three little toes on each foot. The arms are also short and chubby, with three little fingers on each hand. The koala actually have five fingers, like us humans. But for my cartoon, I simplify it to three. And now I'm ready for the facial expression. First the nose. And then the eyes. Under the nose I draw the smile. And under there I draw one curved line to open up the smile. Then the lower lip. The tongue and dark inside the mouth. Now I continue with details, such as the inside of the ears, the bushy bit on top of the ears, and a bit of fur on top of the head. Next I give the koala an uncapped connector pen, because koalas love to draw. And they don't just love to draw, they love trees as well. That's why I need to put in a solid tree trunk for my koala to stand on. And now the time has come to ink in all the lines with the connector pens. I use a black pen for the koala. When I ink in the furry body, I make the line nice and loose, to imitate the soft texture of the fur. I follow the rounded forms, and I don't hold the connector pen too tight. If I hold it too tight, I'll get a stiff line. If I loosen up, I'll get a more relaxed, good-looking line. At the end, I color in the black nose. Now I'll move on to the connector pen. I'll make it red. Red is my favorite color because it's so strong and vibrant. After doing the outline, I also draw a line to show where I will put in the color later. Then I continue with the grayish green for the branch of the tree. Now that the outline is done, I use a Faber-Castell eraser to lighten up the sketch marks from the color pencil. Next, I use a medium gray connector pen to add in all the fur all around the koala's body. I do this with many, many small little lines. Some areas I leave lighter, like the face and belly. Then I color in the connector pen, and I leave a white stripe to the left. That's where the light falls on the pen. Then I get my grip color pencils out. First I color the fur light gray. Then a little pink in the ears. Next I add the leaves. First with the same grayish green connector pen. Then with a yellowish connector pen. And now the drawing is ready for a soft layer of yellow color pencil. This is to give the tree a sunlit glow. Then I add just a little extra color on the branch and a bit of blue for shadows and blue sky.
my signature and my cute art koala is finished. <laughs>